Hello everybody, welcome to the Autocraft server. I am Autism Father. I'm, I, want, I want to talk to you today about the Shopkeeper plugin, which we use here at Spawn with these guys, so that you can do trades and things. But I'm not going to talk about how to set it up for your server. I want to talk about how to set it up for yourself on the server to have your own player shop. All right, so here we are in the resource world. Sun setting looks pretty nice. I want to help you get set up, so here we go. Select a stick, and it puts into chat right click to select shop type, and sneak and right click to select the ob object type. So if we just right click in the air, now we have book shop, uh, normal, trading, buying, and book. Those are the options. We're going to go with normal for right now. The other ones work pretty much the same way. Um, hey, Ethan. <laughs> um, so, okay, we have that set. That's for the shop type. Now, if we want to set the object type, that is where you can choose um, ocelot, pig, sheep, snowman, wolf, rabbit, sign, which we'll put a sign on the chest, just kind of like the old system. And then we have villager, cow, mushroom, and then back through again. So we'll choose the villager because that's what most people will choose. So now that we have those options selected, you place a chest, right click on the chest, which selects that chest. And now we can place the villager. We can put, place them anywhere around here. I'm going to place them right on top. There he is. So now if we right click on him, there's no trade set up yet. If we shift right click, we get the menu, which is a shopkeeper editor. We can change his name, his appearance. Let's give him the pink robes and we can delete him, right? Uh, so if we go into the chest, that's where our stuff is going to go. So if we want to sell a diamond, there's still no trade set up. So we have to shift right click and now we have this interface where it has the diamond it picked that up from in the chest and then we can set the price so if we want to sell it for an emerald block or an emerald we can if we left click on this slime ball it sets it to an emerald if we left click again it adds one left click add one add one add one if we right click on this spot it decreases it by one and that's how we set that slime ball means zero and there'll be no trade setup if we do this one because it's an emerald block now, when we right click on him, it will show the trade and it'll say nine emeralds because one emerald block is worth nine. Um, we can continue to add items to our shop. We can sell uh, horse eggs, for example. It won't show up here until we shift and then click and then we can set a price. So now there's two trades. We can also set the name. If you notice, there's nothing over his head. If you want people to be able to pick up uh, what kind of shop it is, we can shift, click, and go to the anvil. And now it puts into chat, type the name. So we can just say uh, it's a test shop. And presto, now it's over his head. It's a test shop. It didn't put what I, what I said into chat. It just changed the name of this guy. So I can go in here, and now it says test shop at the top, and it says that. And it locks the chest to only you. So don't worry. Nobody can go in there and just take your stuff. They have to buy it from this guy which is pretty cool. Um, when you decide you're done, shift and click to get the menu again and click on the bone and he's gone. Your shop is now out of business. Take your stuff back, delete this and go set up a different shop. Now, if you want to set up a shop for trading um, that's not emeralds, we can change right click in the air and change it to trading shop selected, trade items with players. So now we can put this right click on it and uh, let's try a different type. Um, let's try a, a cow. Sorry, I clicked in the air. Okay, trading shop with a cow. We're going to place the cow in front of the chest. Hey, cow. So now the cow is our villager that we can trade with. So we'll put this guy in here. Um, we want to trade spectral arrows. I would love to have some spectral arrows. Um, but again, no shop, nothing is set up. So now if we right click, there's no slime balls. So the, re the way we deal with this is... You have the item that you want in your inventory. Say, I love mycelium. Um, I, I have lots of this stuff. So if I click on it, I can place it there now. Like, it doesn't show up. I can't drag it or anything, but just clicking on it selects it. So then when I place it here, I can say, you know, there. So now when I click on this guy, six mycelium for a spectral arrow. So people will give me mycelium and, and they will buy spectral arrows from me. And then, and then I can also do it the other way around, right? Like, I can take this. Take it out of there. That shop, that purchase is now gone. So we can put this in here. Um, now we have mycelium. So I can take this and say, you know, give me, give me some spectral arrows. 
Perfect. So now people need to give me six spectral arrows to get one mycelium. And that's how you can set up any kind of trade you want. It doesn't have to be a great trade, could be an amazing trade. You can outsell the uh, shops at spawn if you want. And of course, as usual, click on delete and he's gone. Take your take your objects back and delete the chest and your, your shop is out of business. So hopefully that helps you get your shop set up. Um, there's two other options for selling books and another one for buying stuff. Um, you really don't need to do the buying thing if you do the trading thing instead. You know what I mean? Like you can just trade for whatever you want. It's kind of like buying, um, but the buying option uses emeralds by default. So that's all you have to do. Follow those instructions. If you have any questions, ask an admin or a senior helper or somebody who just happens to know how to do this stuff while you're on the server and they will come and help you out. But it's as simple as having a stick in your hand and right clicking on the air or shift right clicking. And just remember to shift right click on your villager or sign um, in order to access that menu so you can set the options and things like that. So hopefully you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, um, use this tutorial if you get lost and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the server.